Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be trying out a bunch of ColourPop's new products. Now you're probably thinking, which new ColourPop product? Because they just launched a ton of new products. The ones that I'm talking about are part of the Crystal Collection. I picked these up a while ago, probably like three weeks ago, and they just came in the mail yesterday. So I'm really excited to finally get these products, test them out, and share them with you guys. It came to my attention that th some people are still waiting for a restock of these, so I thought that I should do a video showing you guys what I received. My brows are done, the rest of my face is not. And that's because I'm going to be doing a demo of their liquid highlighter. I got the color Rose Quartz, and I wanted to mix it into my foundation and see how it looks, as well as I want to try out the priming and the setting spray that I received. So kind of like a demo in first impressions for you guys. I hope that you guys like this video and I have some more ColourPop videos coming up so stay tuned. So these three products are the ones that I picked up. I picked up the ColourPop Rose Quartz Crystal Liquid Highlighter and this is kind of like a pinkish reflect so I'm going to be mixing this into my foundation but first I'm going to be using the Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray. In the Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray, it contains real rose quartz, apple extract for intense hydration, grapefruit extract, olive oil derivative for a dewy finish. So that is what I really liked, is that this is a really hydrating priming spray. I love to keep my face hydrated, even though it tends to get a little bit oily, but that's not until the end of the day, so that is why I also picked up this spray, which is Adventurine crystal setting spray. Now this setting spray contains real aventurine, cucumber water, lemon extract, and honey to give you a more matte looking finish. So even though I like having a hydrated complexion, I also like to control the oils on my face so I'm excited to try this on top of my makeup. First I'm going to start off by applying the Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray. I definitely smell the apple. Is this the one with apple? This one does have apple. I definitely smell that more than the grapefruit in here. I figured it would smell a little bit more like grapefruit, but that's okay. The spray on this is nice. I just found that it was a little bit too powerful, so I had to hold it far away. But when you hold it far away and kind of just let the mist fall on your face, and it also dried really nicely, I don't have any wet spots left on my face. It's actually pretty quick. So now I'm going to move on to the liquid highlighter. So today I'm going to be mixing in the Rose Quartz Crystal Liquid Highlighter in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation, but this formula for me is a little bit more natural to matte, so I wanted to mix it in to see where that glow comes from and make sure that it's not actually just the foundation. So I'm going to mix these together on the back of my hand and then dab it on my face with my Beauty Blender. Okay, so this is what it looks like completely blended into my skin. When I was mixing the two together, I noticed that the highlighter was very creamy and it made the consistency of my foundation more creamy than it usually is. It tends to be a little bit more of a liquid foundation, but this seemed almost like a thicker, I don't know, not like a mousse, but it just made the consistency a lot thicker to apply so it didn't go on as nicely as it usually does, but at the same time I think it looks really nice. Whoa. You can really see the glow on my face. I noticed that when I took a mirror and went really close up, you can see a little bit of fine flecks of glitter. So I wouldn't necessarily use this all the time, but when I was applying it, it didn't seem like there was anything underneath the foundation, which kind of speaks to the primer because it's such a fine mist and I never use priming mist, so I'm not sure how they usually work, but I usually use a priming cream or of some sort. So it's a little bit more of a thick, kind of base for my foundation to go on top of and it kind of smooths out my skin. Um, I usually use the Too Faced Hangover Primer but because I didn't have that I felt like I needed to apply a little bit more of foundation just because I was covering up more and it didn't really sit on my skin as nicely as it usually does so that's just something to mention about the primer but this highlighter looks really nice. It looks super nice on camera as you can see. It just looks really glowy. So because this highlighter is pretty intense. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to apply it on top. I think that mixed in with the foundation is just the perfect way to add some glow. I think that if I added it on top as well, it would just add a little bit too much. So right now I'm just going to be setting my face with my powder and then I'm going to be coming back to set my face with the setting spray. Alright, so now that my face is set with powder, I'm going to be using the Aventurine setting spray. 
and I'm assuming the spray is just the same as the primer. Ooh, that looks like a lot of spray coming out. Let's try this. Mm, it smells like coconut. I'm kind of nervous because setting sprays can make or break your makeup, so hoping that this looks good. Okay, that one smells so good. That's definitely the cucumber in this. Let's see how it dries. It's drying really fast, actually. It's already dry. That was like instant. So I'm really happy with the drying time of both of these. However, the priming spray didn't really help me with the application of my makeup. It didn't really smooth anything out or really do anything. It wasn't even tacky to the touch, so not too sure how I'm going to like that one. But even if I don't use it for priming, even just like spraying my face if I want a little bit more of a dewy complexion, because it's one of their hydrating setting sprays. And the setting spray that I use is more of a mattifying spray, so I'm assuming that you can actually use them interchangeably. One is priming, one is setting, but I think that they're both the same. I really liked the highlighter. The highlighter is really intense on my cheekbones and mixed in with my foundation felt really nice and creamy. I recently did a review on the Dew Drops by Marc Jacobs and that one was nice but it's really expensive and I mean I only paid six dollars for the Colourpop ones so if you guys were looking for something similar to that concept, something that you can mix in a highlighter with your foundation or even if you wanted to mix it in with your moisturizer I think that would look really beautiful um, it's really pretty product super inexpensive I really recommend the highlighter for sure other things about the highlighter is that if you wanted to apply it on top of your foundation you could do that as well just apply it with a wet beauty sponge the possibilities are endless oh I did want to see how this would be like mixed in with lip balm. That would be really cool, right? I'm going to try that. I'm going to mix it in with the Glossier Coconut Balm.com. I'm going to try mixing it and seeing what it looks like. Like I said, the highlighter is really creamy, so it's mixing really nicely with the lip balm. So this is what the mixture looks like on the back of my hand. Alright, so this is what I created. I think I went a little bit overboard. I applied a lot and it looks so reflective in the monitor. It's crazy. Um, so, just so you know, you can mix it in with your lip balm if you're feeling it. I think that if I were to redo this, I would apply like a lipstick or something and then just take like a dab on my finger and just pop it in the center just as a lip topper. I think mixed in with lip gloss is a little bit too much, but... I mean, we're trying things out here. We're just playing with makeup and just testing things out. I wanted to let you guys know how many different ways you can use this product. And yeah, I think that it mixed in really nicely. It's a really good consistency. I'm really impressed. I like the consistency more of this highlighter than I did of the Marc Jacobs highlighter because that one was more of a gel, whereas this one almost feels like a really light cream. I don't know, like, I love this lip balm, but mixed in with this, it hasn't taken away any of the hydration. It feels really nice. I hope that you guys enjoyed me testing out these products for you. As you can see, the highlighter is probably my favorite product in this video because I can use it so many different ways. I like both of the sprays. I love the smell of the Aventurine one. It smells really nice and fresh. It smells like a spa. And the other one I didn't really love. I didn't really like how my makeup didn't apply really nicely over it. And I didn't love the apple scent to it. I was hoping that it would have more of a grapefruit scent but the apple is just a little bit more dominant in there. I think that I really like all these products on different levels though. So if you're looking to get some of the ColourPop's Crystal Collection, I recommend getting the highlighters. The setting sprays are nice too. I kind of probably won't use them with my makeup. I might use them in my skincare routine. You never know. If you just want to try out a really inexpensive setting spray or even a priming spray, then go for it. These are a really great price and they smell good. I like that they have crystals in them. I think that that's really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what other ColourPop products you guys want me to test out. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate the support. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.